Okay, guys. Here's another part to the cleanup. All right, as you can see, the front seat is now clear. Okay. These are narrow and they hurt. I got them from Goodwill and they're gonna go back to Goodwill. Okay, I have my paperwork up here, my ready paperwork. That's not the one in the, in the file. That's just the paperwork that I use on a daily basis. The iPad cover, headlamp, my IDs for work. <clears throat> I heated this up once. Um, like to put some soup and stuff in it. It's got a lid, it's underneath. And it got burning hot, but the stuff inside was still cold. So I don't know if it was because um, I didn't insulate it or I didn't heat it up long enough, but the outside was burning. And the, the liquid inside, I'll show you what I was getting ready to make some coffee. Some pour over coffee that I just bought. Here are some avocado seeds. Oh yeah, they, they gotta go in. I went to the thrift and I found my daughter a whole pack of My Little Pony. Uh, I went to the Goodwill. My Little Pony trading cards. This is a nine volt heating blanket. I just got this from Walmart. And it worked fine until the nine volt killed my battery. That's what this is for. This is a Halo Jump Starter. Works like a charm. It's relatively cheap. Um, at about a hundred bucks. <laughs> There's your socket. Of course, it didn't work with the rice cooker, but it did work with the laptop. It also has two um, USBs. That I'm about to hook my iPad into so I can play with it while I'm out here fooling around with this van. All right, so I'll just go ahead and plug this in. I'll turn the iPad upside down. I hope it goes. No, nope, I guess not. Let me turn this thing upside down. Anyway, into the iPad. Boing. Here's the jump starter mechanism. You turn that on. It comes with the, the plugs. And here's an emergency flashlight. Very bright, LED. Of course you can't, you can't tell because it's sunny out, it's still sunny. All right. So that's gonna be brought back to Walmart. If I can't plug it into the van, what am I, what am I gonna keep it for? That's my extra sharps container, my hygiene bag, my tiny little trash can. That holds my vape while I'm driving. And you don't want to know what that is. <laughs> okay, so all this is clear. Now, I have two hanging pots. I have the soil in the fish tank, and I have the three trash chest drawer with all of my toiletries in them. And I have my toilet paper roll there. All right. Now, that's a gardening book I have to take back to my daughter's father. Here's the middle part, sort of nice and cleaned out. I have my laundry bag. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Jesus, this is so hard to hold this thing. I'm gonna figure out what to do with this electronics bag in a little bit after I make my cocoa bar that I'm gonna put an add to that right there. This is a A bag that I have the plastic containers in. I'm trying to decide what to do with that. And here we just have the two totes for the car and the dress clothes. And there's my hanging pots. 
and that's the middle compartment I'm gonna take care of that and as you can see there's still some stuff that I have left to do so I'll be working on the back as we speak because right now the door doesn't close now I got this at, at a thrift too was hoping to make um, this is all aluminum it's very solid I was hoping to put this over a campfire I have some foil in there an extra dish rag a stone um, a sharp stone I have a candle in there I have to get rid of that that's gonna go in the trash because it lights funny it only lights on one wick which kind of stinks this is a this is candle wax I don't know whether I should save that or not probably not it's easy to get candle wax so I'm gonna get rid of these I'm gonna throw these away there were so many things I wanted to do with the candle wax, but now that I'm hitting North Carolina, I don't want to take the time to take it with me. Here's my camping tote. I have some of my wick. I have a, I picked this up at Harbor Freight yesterday, magnesium fire starter. I have some washcloths or dish rags in there, a sponge. Um, a 9 volt fan. I have tongs, big long grilling tongs. I have an emergency mirror. There I am. Woo woo! I still have my stove, my solo stove, my alcohol stove, my wood burning stove. I have my no seam down in there. This is a full body netting that you put on when you're out in the woods. Okay. Here's my other sharps container. Of course, I have my come see me knife. Coleman, if I can get it open with one hand. That's the right here. All right, let me try it out here. It's got a sheath. That's the come see me knife. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you want to come see me? Come see me. All right, give me a, give me a, give me the opportunity uh, to use it for the first time. Okay. Any hoo ha. I'm gonna put that back in the sheath. <laughs> I have some sham wow, some Velcro strips. I might use those. Um, there we go. Extra forks, knives, spoons, brushes to get in those little cracks and crevices in the van. Uh, Sharpie. This is a stone for sharpening the blade. Toothpicks, of course, batteries. And sticky notes. That's my sharp container. Lots of other things. My uh, rubber spatula. This needs to be wrapped up. Not a couple knives in there. All right. And uh, I need these. I actually need these uh, toothpicks on. Start this. These avocado seeds. Okay. So now that I have that completed. I have these jeans that my sister gave me that I have to put away, okay? Right now, I cannot fit this inside the van, okay? Because it's way too big. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with all that food. Um, I can't fit this in here. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the wrap, the Reynolds wrap, I need that foil for something. These are all of my old bait containers that I was gonna make tinctures out of. I'm debating on whether to keep a hold of them or not. Or infused oils, like lavender oil. 
This is the bucket that I got to wash the van with and to go potty if necessary. I also got um, a couple gallons of water. There's my pocketbook. These are also the brackets that I bought to hang up the curtains and the rope to make them a little bit better than just hanging here like this, okay? Because right now it's not even going, you know, it's kind of in the way. There's my tabletop grill. And this is what I was using that hot water for. It's a pour over glass coffee carafe, carafe however you want to say it. I don't know if I want more glass in, in the van. I'm not sure. I, w I tried it the one time, like I said, and the water didn't get hot because I wasn't making it, I wasn't cooking it the right way. It didn't get hot. The water didn't get hot. So it didn't make the coffee work, but it's got its, its own little filter. So I'm going to try it with the Sterno now that I got it one more time. We'll see if that works. That's my zero degree sleeping bag up there. My pillow, my mattress, my bed. I showed you guys this earlier. There's my fold out stove. Um, one of the coolers with the little propane tanks in it for the little buddy. This is another blanket that I have. Um, it's very, very thick. It hangs over the couch. Very warm. Keeps my booty warm. Keeps my booty warm in the middle of the night. And I have that other cooler that I plan on putting ice and food in. So I gotta figure out what to do with the, um, the gas can. But for right now, I don't plan on taking anything I need to refrigerate. So I may just keep the gas can and the bleach in there. It's a Clorox spray. Okay. So I'll be getting in there in a second. After I figure out what I'm going to do with all this junk. I'll put that bucket down. It's got an extra gallon of water in there. It makes it a little bit heavy. Um, here's the rope that I was using. I have a jute twine. And I have this other... Um, other stuff here okay this stuff is strong and it pulls apart so you can use it for like fish line catching fish traps okay that's my fish I mean uh, my rope that's garbage of course that's what I used after I put the um, that grill together I also got some more brackets I also got some Gorilla Glue. It's gonna go in the uh, toolbox. And I got some Gorilla Epoxy. Just in case. She gotta get serious. I also got a, a um, LED flashlight, rechargeable. Okay. If I turn it on, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Very bright. Woo! Okay. That's my rechargeable flashlight. It really doesn't belong in that bag. I was looking for it the other day and couldn't find it. So that just goes to show you. That right there, you don't even want to know what that is. Uh, and I have my snow shovel back here. I have an extra hanger. I have a wired hanger. And I have this to put around the rim if I decide I'm going to use a bucket for bathrooming. I have the extra pump sprayer back there for showers, emergency showers. And that's pretty much it. The only way I'm going to show you what's underneath the bed is if I fold this up and that's not going to happen um, because I don't feel like dragging the mattress out. But the closest you can see is this one, the cl one closer tote. It's got my snow boots. It's got a couple other household things, like um, there's a little blanket, another blanket that rolls up. But uh, those snow boots came in handy. And there's my laptop. There's my laptop there under the case. And of course I have my um, mason jars filled with stuff, spaghettis, oil, vinegar and whatnot that's on another tote that has other either junk in it I have a paper shredder I need to get rid of that too 
that's one of those things that plug in and that's what I'll be doing I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm finished with this section okay